first day of Comic-Con! Yay! So I've got Evie on. i got my little tail back there. I've got my ears on too. Um, they're a little slippery with my hair, all hairsprayed, so I may have to bring some bobby pins. But, yep, so got that. I've got my little Pokeball lunchbox that I bought to carry around all my stuff with me so Evie can have her Pokeball. Um, we are heading out. I say we as if, like, there's someone with me. It's just me today. I'm meeting some friends there, but it's just me. So, just wanted to give you guys a heads up of how the day's going so far. It's going good. I haven't started running late yet, but the nice thing is, since I've been before, it's not, like, utterly insane, or I also don't have, like, a panel that I want to get to first thing in the morning, so I don't have to be there right at the beginning of the day. So, yep. So, Let's get going to the train station and we'll head into the city. Let's go. So you've been here for like an hour. Hair's like a mess because of the rain, but we're dealing with it. We're dealing with it. video at the end of the con at the end of this video so yeah we'll see you later we're gonna go wander a little more <laughs> so Mandy what's going on um so the velcro ain't sticking uh I'm gonna try to tape this on to the tape we're gonna do our best here this is possibly imperfect nope not no, at all is, we're in the convention right now and yeah uh, we're taking a break to repair. rest our feet and repairing Duke Kaboom yeah, he needs some repair. This Duke. is cosplay. It, it always takes a pretty tip to see on Instagram. It's, yep. It's putting fabric tape on your GoPro. Yep, and it's carrying around a sewing needle and all of that, and it's people leaving their prop places. Yeah, what is this? I don't yeah, know. Luckily, they're just plastic. So. Guys, I got a little me. We found Jen, too. She's leading the way. I'm here. Aloha. Aloha. So we're gonna go find the cool uh, Dead by Daylight Stranger Things booth. I wanna speak to your manager. Yes. The main things I got today were um, prints and some stickers from Karen Halley and Art. I absolutely love this artist. I've been looking at her stuff on Instagram forever. And the thing I wanted most was this print right here, the She's Got Help print, because it has all the Marvel women. And I especially love it because Nat's up top watching over them all. Love that. Love that so much. I did not think that this was going to last at the weekend. So I immediately got that. Had to get that out of the way. Wanted that. And I also found this one. It was super, super cute. Uh, my Patronus is a flurkin. I loved that. So I had to get that one too. I also got two stickers. This one is for me. I got one with Nat and it says Avenge. And then this one is for Meg. It has Megara on it and it says Sass. And then, of course, since I was Evie today, I had to get a little Evie because I actually don't have a stuffed one. So had to get one. But, yep, so that is my haul for day one. See you there for day two. Bye. Good morning, guys. It is day two. Natasha is making her big debut day. I'm so excited. It looks so good. Once again, thank you so much, Ashton, from Wigs Everlasting for making this gorgeous thing for me. Absolutely love it. And we're going to go meet Tom Hiddleston. So it's going to be great. We're going to have four Avengers. We're going to have bookend Black Widows, me and my friend Aaron. You guys may meet her later. 
and then Katie is going to be a female Captain America, and then Meg is of course going to be Captain Marvel as per usual. So let's get going. So we just met Tom Hiddleston. <laughs> It was a time, he's really nice, but he's really tall. Yes, he is very tall. You wanna have it? He's so nice. He's so nice. But <laughs> now I we're didn't. in like <laughs> Dan's just making faces. Wait, put your hat back on, or did you lose your hat? No, I keep on. Oh. I want to buy my six dollars can of water. Yeah. So we're getting Starbucks right now because we're thirsty. I'm already overheating. It's great. No, I'm just really sweaty. Your knees are sweaty. My knees are sweaty. That's like a very specific place to be yes, sweaty. Yes, under the leather patches, my knees are sweaty. That makes sense. And I have to carry this around because the pouch that it's in, the holster, um, it unbuckles itself on the weight of the gun. So I gotta carry this. Uh, but whatever, it works. So we're gonna wander and then I got a bunch of photo shoots planned. So yeah. Look at my. Go! Yes! 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 I am, of course, recording this. Okay, let me go this way. And what are you? I don't know what to say. There you go. It's a little crazy. We're just caught in a bunch of people constantly. Yep. It's Friday. It's crazy. Yesterday was the chillest it's ever gonna be. So we're gonna try and get some snacks. They're blasting music. But yeah. Let's go. back in the train station. It's been a long, long day. I met some awesome widows. I didn't get a lot of footage today because we were hopping around from photo shoot to photo shoot, but it was a really amazing day. We got some food. We're gonna eat and call it a day. Katie, you wanna say hi? Hi. Yes. Hey uh, It's been a day. So I'll see you guys later for day three. So I have not vlogged at all today. It's just been insane, but this is day three. We just met Jody Benson. We're heading down to Artist Alley. Let's go. Hey guys, so I didn't vlog like at all today, but I just want to kind of give you an update. Today was absolute madness. The con was packed. We were constantly running around from one place to another, and so I didn't really feel okay to vlog in a way. We also spent a lot of time in Artist Alley, and I don't like to film in that area because I don't know how artists feel about like pictures or video being taken of their work. Um, some don't mind, some would rather it not happen, and so I would just rather not cross that line. But anyway, so to give a little recap of the day, um, Anya went amazing. I didn't think anybody was going to know who I was, but I had a lot of people come up to me and ask if I was Anastasia, and a lot of people got really excited. Met a couple other Anastasia cosplayers. People really loved Puka. They thought he was so cute. So my toy that came straight from the 90s, they're good. Got a lot of cool pictures taken. Um, but the really, really fun part is um, Meg and I went to meet Jody Benson today. So for those of you who don't know, uh, she is the voice of Ariel and at the con uh, this year they had three Disney princesses. They had uh, Jodie Benson who was Ariel, Paige O'Hara who was Belle, and then Anika Nani Rose who was Tiana. 
And we wish we could have met all three of them, but that would have cost a lot of money. So we went with our number one, our Ariel. So we met Jody, and she is so, so nice. We got like one of the combo ones. So I got an autograph because I really, really wanted one because Ariel is my favorite Disney princess. She has been holding a very special place in my heart for many, many years, for many, many reasons. And so it was an honor to meet Jody today. She was so nice. Both Meg and I were completely and utterly starstruck. We couldn't even speak when we got up there. We wanted to tell her so many things, but like it all just whoosh. She was asking us like, oh, what do you girls do? Like we said, we're actors and all of that. And she's so sweet. And uh, we have a little surprise that happened when we were all in line. So we were all in line and somebody in Paige O'Hara's line, who was the next booth over, asked her to sing. So there was a special thing where if you wanted to record a video or an audio of them, you paid 50 bucks and you could ask them to do it. So somebody asked her to sing something there. And so we're just kind of chatting and then all of a sudden we hear her start singing and the entire few lines, like the princess lines, go quiet and we're all listening and we're all just kind of shaking because she sounds exactly the same, like, that is Belle. And we all like took a moment listened and when she finished up we clapped and it was just like it was one of those like really magical like disney moments <laughs> but it was really fun and she was so nice and jody was really nice but i wish i could meet them all so tomorrow we are going to um the conversation with the disney princesses panel so we'll see them there tomorrow we're also gonna be doing lizzie and isabella tomorrow so Get all the millennials all excited. Whoop, whoop. I'm gonna not put in the fact that I just like almost tripped over myself. I'm that tired. Um, it's been a really long day. It's just been a really long weekend in general already and we still got one more day to go. <laughs> but it's been really fun. Uh, we met a lot of artists today. That was really cool as well. We met uh, Brianna Cherry Garcia um, on Instagram. If you haven't checked out her artwork, please go do so. She's amazing. I followed her for a very long time and it was so cool to get to meet her today. She's so down to earth, so chill. Um, Meg got to say hi to Boss Logic because she does a cosplay of his Negan Harley and so she got to go like see him and thank him in person for that. So that was really cool. But yeah, all around, it was a really good day. Hey guys, so it's day four of Comic Con for me, day three for her. We are here as Lizzie and Isabella. We're currently in the middle of the Disney meetup, but it is so great. Uh, we've had a lot of people recognize us. We had yeah. one person walk by and was just like, Hillary Duff and Hillary Duff. <laughs> so yeah, we're having a good time. Let's go. All right. We're at the Disney Okay, everyone, that's it. New York Comic Con is officially complete for 2019. Now, I know I didn't get a lot of footage these past two days, but that was because it was a lot of walking and not having a lot of space to move. And so I didn't feel like I could film without uh, my safety being a concern of either me running into people or getting pushed over, so. I didn't really get to film that much, but it was really great these past two days. We had great reception today for Lizzie and Isabella. Um, we had so, so many people get really excited over it, so that was really nice. And honestly, it was a really great con. I had never been to a four-day con before. I did only three days last year, so four days this year was a lot. But I really enjoyed it. I'm really going to consider going all four days again next year. I feel really proud of the cosplays that I brought. I feel like Widow had an awesome debut. I feel really proud of the Evie and the Anya I made. And I want to thank Meg for fixing up our jackets to bring to Comic-Con. For those of you who don't know, we did Lizzie and Isabella at the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween party last year in 2018, and we wanted to fix up the jackets to bring them to Comic-Con. So it was really, really great to be able to do that. Right now, I'm sitting in my bed. 
I've had an Epsom salt bath to soak my entire body because I'm really exhausted. Face mask to get all the makeup off. And now I'm sitting in my bed with some ice packs on my feet because they hurt so much. Um, I have to go to work tomorrow, so hopefully I won't be in sheer agony. Um, probably hurt a little bit because I am on my feet all day at my job. So it'll be a time, but you do what you gotta do. So I hope you guys enjoyed this very long super vlog of New York Comic Con. I did learn a lot of things that I want to do differently in the future for other con videos for longer cons like this. And so can't wait for my next longer con to be able to do that. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Let me know in the comments down below which cosplay was your favorite that I did this past weekend. And if you liked what you saw, please hit that big red subscribe button down below and follow me along for all of my cosplay journeys in the future. See you next time, guys. Bye.